Well, got me into training actually was uh, kind of an accident. I mean, uh, my little brother was getting into a lot of trouble and he liked to fight. So I told him, I asked him if he wanted to join a boxing gym. He said, yeah. So I was searching for one and I found the MMA gym in Hesperia. So I was like, well, that's close enough. It's fighting. So I went to sign him up and uh, he didn't want to stay without me. He was, he was like 12 at the time. And he was like, well, if I'm going to stay here, just sign up with me. And I was like, all right, let's sign up with you. Just keep you out of trouble. So I signed up and there was only a pro class at the time. So we both signed up into a pro class and then it just went from there. I mean, of course, friends thought it was cool. Like, oh, it's cool, you're going to do a fight. You know, family, not so, you know, fond of it. Like, what are you doing? You're going to get hurt. You know, you need to work. Don't, you know. But I just, uh, I did it for fun at first. And then as it started going, doing good, my dad still kept trying to pull me away from it. He was, you know, he didn't want me to get hurt. So uh, as he started seeing me getting better and better, he's like, well, if you're gonna do it, do it right. Stop doing, don't do it half half. I mean, I'm actually a really calm person, but I do feel like when I get in the cage, it's um, it's either me or him. So I kind of feel like, you know, it's like survival of the fittest, you know? It's like either I'm gonna go out or he's gonna go out. So I kind of kind of turn into like, you know, every man for himself type thing. And it, it does kind of flip a switch because you're not gonna go in there thinking, I'm just gonna ride through and cruise this way because it's not gonna happen. Someone's gonna punch you in the face and end the fight, you know, no matter one punch or one submission. So you gotta kind of, really be on your toes and be you know, prepared for everything. I'm trying to fight as much as I can. I mean, uh, the past, I want to say two years, has been actually really difficult for me to find fights because uh, like I fought in a Bellator and Strike Force. I fought Bellator like two years ago. And once I hit Bellator, it kind of got harder for me to find the local shows because guys were like, oh, he's fought in a bigger show. Then I fought in Strike Force, then it's gotten harder. And then now, you know, I just came off the Ultimate Fighter series. I, I lost my fight to get in the house, but now it seems like it's extremely hard to get a fight. People are like, oh, he was on there. And I'm still the same guy, I and mean, yeah, I'm getting better, you know, but it's still just holding that, you know, behind you, it's extremely hard to get a fight. So I'm just, I'm just trying to stay busy now, because I'm in shape, and, uh, you, you know, your injuries come from training, not from fights, so it's kind of hard, you know, if you're not fighting all the time, it's kind of hard to stay that way, and stay in shape, and stay ready when you don't have fights lined up. Really things that help, helps my drive, because, I mean, I could go do a jiu-jitsu tournament and win, and then, you know, win in blue belt, or pro belt, whatever level, and think, okay, well, they're still brown belt level. I'm still, I still suck. I should have won brown belt. I still suck. I should have won black belt. So it's pushed me to drive me to get my brown belt, to get my black belt, to get whatever belt I need to get to, to compete with the best because I don't want to be the best of the C level fighters. You know, I want to be the best of the A level fighters. So it, it does help me and that's what wakes me up at 7 in the morning to come train. Of course, you know, everybody, you know, says, you know, they have the point where they're going to be happy, but I still believe there's always, a, there's always room for improvement. Like, I mean, you ask Anna Shasilla, who's the best fighter in the world, he's going to tell you somebody else. Yeah, St. Pierre, who's the best fighter in the world, is going to tell you something else. Why? Because they set their goals so high, and that's what's making them the best fighters that there is right now, because they keep pushing past that limit, and that's where I want to push myself to.